Twenty months after allegedly killing and dismembering Johnny Altiger, accused killer Mark Twitchell gave police a map to a sewer containing the victim's remains. That's what the jury heard at Twitchell's first-degree murder trial Tuesday as the Crown wrapped up its case. On the bottom of the page was a handwritten note saying, Location of John Altinger's remains, followed by detailed directions to a manhole and signed by Twitchell. Jurors heard Twitchell received nothing in exchange for providing the location of the remains. However, police agreed to not publicize the remand center meeting. Court has earlier heard evidence about an excavation resulting in some of Altinger's remains being recovered. A pathologist testified about half of the bones typically seen in a human body were found in the sewer. Missing was the skull, the limbs, and all of the identifiable human organs. Former Detective Mark Anstey testified there were 112 city police officers eventually involved in the homicide case, which initially began as a missing person file. Anstey was asked about SK Confessions, a deleted document found buried on a laptop seized from Twitchell's car that the Crown alleges is the accused killer's diary. He said he assigned 301 separate tasks in order to determine whether the text, which he said describes a serial killer's life, was a work of fiction or a true account. The Crown ended its case after reading in a statement of agreed facts that included a lengthy explanation of Dexter Morgan, a sociopath serial killer character from the popular book and Dexter TV series. The trial continues Wednesday. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Tony Blake.